Hey, what's going on, people? J General TV HD speaker review time yet again. Let's do a little quick unboxing. Um, Vho is the brand name, the company name, and M8 is the model. Um, now, just a little brief background. I was flying down the M1, and then I stopped off at one of them little service stations. Went into the technology part as I normally do, and I pre these speakers, and I thought, do you know what? That looks like some kind of budget version of the Harman Kardon Onyx Studios, and it looks like a smaller version as well. Um, and it was like a hundred pound, I think, and I was like, okay, let me just listen to what it sounds like, and it kind of blew me away, in it. So I thought, do you know what? Let me pre Amazon. Of course, it was like a quarter of the price on Amazon. Actually, no, half price. It's £50 at the moment. And um, yeah, I thought we'd just go in there and see Wagwan because the sound quality was really deep. All right, so we'll pop that open. There we go. Don't know the button. I'll put that to the sides. There we go. UK Design, apparently. I've never heard of this brand before. Um, I've got a couple more stuff to review from them. But yeah, UK Design. I'll leave that there. Um, that is the ting. That's what you're kind of getting. Okay, so I'm going to put that out. Um, I mean, the presentation's okay. I'll put that to the side right now. Presentation's okay. It's nothing to really write home about. Oh, okay. It all fell out. Um, all that space was just for this box. And what is this? Science in here. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, you've got two USBs. You've got one... So you've got one auxiliary 3.5 millimeter and you've got one micro USB, a little 90 degree angle thing. Um, what else have we got in here? Just a booklet, I guess, showing us how to get it on. So, um, yeah, let's put all that stuff in there, get that out of the way. And um, let's start unwrapping the speaker. Calm thing. So, yeah, as I was saying, it looks like a little mini... In fact, it looks kind of like a little rip-off mini Harman Kardon Onyx Studio fam. Um, it's got kind of dodgy stainless steel kind of pattern. It looks quite dusty on the back. I'm not going to lie, it looks like it's been in, been in the warehouse for quite a while there. I'll just bring that closer so you guys can see. On the back, you've got all the buttons. So you've got your, what's that, Bluetooth connectivity, plus, minus, answer phone call, and your on and off button. Um, that is the base radiator. Is that what it's called? Radiator? Um, it's got some protective film on it. I'm going to just try to get that off best I can without disturbing the radiator. There we go. Just got that off, and it kind of looks as dusty as the rest of the speaker. I'm not sure. Is, has it got some film on here? Nope, it doesn't. And I just scratched it quite easy. It's quite easy to scratch, actually. Um, but yeah, that's the kind of material. It looks very dusty. I'm not sure why. Um, it was new on Amazon. But anyway, let's turn it on and see how it goes. Because um, it does look quite nice there. Um, just try to turn it on. Do I get a... Do I get a sound to know that it's on, or let me hold it a bit longer? I don't think it has any juice. Um, I do not think it has any juice. Right, let me try to plug it in. All right, so yeah, it took me a while to find out where the plug was. There's a little reset button thing going on here, or it looks like a, I think that's where the LED, um, the LED power indicator light is. Um, just realised I was off frame there. And you got your micro USB port there and your headphone jack there. So I'm going to just... The the way they've designed this cable, it does... Actually, it does fit. It looks like it's not going to... No, it's not going to fit. How is that going to fit? How is that... What? Look, the way... Why would they design it like this? It can't... <laughs> it can't fit in there because of the right angle of this cable. Why would they... Maybe I have to push that down a bit. I can't... That is a fatal design flaw. Why would they design... Why would they give it a right-angle micro-USB cable if <laughs> there's such little space to... Uh, I don't know. Let me get a proper US, micro-USB. Right. I'm going to try this normal, standard USB. Micro-USB. Here we go. Okay, that's in. And we've got the standby light on. Okay, so let me just try and turn it on and see if we get any feedback. I'll give it a tap first of all. Nothing from the tap. Love. Oh, there we go. There we go. And we're on. Right. So, yeah, guys, I'll get some testing and get back to you and let you know how it sounds. 
Yeah, so guys, um, been listening to this for a while now. Do you know what? The bass, the sub bass, the subwoofer on the back, this little passive radiator thing going on here, um, that is very serious. Just like the Harman Kardon Onyx Studio series, um, it gives you some realistic sounding bass. I mean, I listen to a lot of hip hop, R and B, reggae kind of things, and you need that doom doom. You know that kind of bass there. I don't know what to call it. I'm not an audiophile, but <laughs> that kind of doom doom. That bass there is all there, fam. Uh, is it called A O I I don't know what it's called, fam. But yeah, it's all there with the bass. Um, the the quality of the um, the sound, like the clarity kind of thing. Maybe I'd say in terms of like a JBL or like my Harman Kardon itself, I'd say we're probably at about 70-80% of the way there. Like if I'm using the Harman Kardon Onyx Studio as 100% clarity, this is about 70-80%. to 80%, But obviously everybody's ears are different. Um, that's just how I feel. I don't really mind. As long as the bass is there, I'm really cool. And one thing with this speaker is that when you put it on the floor, it will rumble the floorboards. This little thing, I put it in the corner down here. Um, yo, it was serious, guys. So, um, yeah, definitely give it a shout. £50 firm. I think for 50 you're not finding anything with this much bass. Honestly. I mean, the shape of it makes it a bit awkward to carry around and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it will look fit in your bag a bit awkwardly. But, um, yeah, the bass that you're getting for the price... Decent things, some decent things. But yeah, if this um, review helped, let me know in the comment section below or give this review a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.